as a young person, you're just trying to figure yourself out. You know, everything's quite confusing in the world, especially when there's so many religions. I don't know if anyone's had that issue, but for me, that was my main issue. I was just like, you know, there's just so many different religions and it was just so confusing for me. And I just felt like, you know, God is not a God of confusion. So why is there so many different religions out there? If he is the one true God, whoever he says he is, why is there so many religions saying he's this and saying he's that? So that really took me a step back and I just thought, this just looks like um, just a confusing puzzle that I would never be able to solve. So I decided to just take a step back from it and just kind of live life my own way and that only led me to the dark which i'll get into so during i just decided you know what i'm just gonna reach out to my friend and go to church with her um and just see how it goes and see if i can relate to it and stuff like that because although i saw all of these signs you know, I wanted to know the depths of God and I wanted him to make me feel a way that nothing else could ever make me feel like. So I definitely needed a bit more convincing. So I decided to take it upon myself to go to my friend's church. So I went there and I just remember like a lot of gospel singers, like a choir just singing gospel songs and it was beautiful. And I just remember listening to it and just seeing people's love for God and how much they just pour out their hearts to God and you know just rejoice and glorify him and worship and then I just started crying uncontrollably like I just uncontrollably couldn't stop crying and I didn't know where it came from because I didn't feel like crying I didn't want to cry I just kept crying and crying and crying and then my friend had to obviously get tissue um, from the bathroom so that I could stop crying. But I was just uncontrollably crying. And that's when I felt the spirit of God in the room. I felt it. And I could not, you know, disregard it. I could not remove myself from it because it was the spirit of God in the room. And that was just when I um, was like, you know what, like, Jesus is 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 my Lord. God has shown me and revealed to me who he was to me. And that is Jesus Christ, you know? I've never felt his love like this before. Like, I would just randomly cry um, through songs of people worshipping him. I would just cry. And that's not because I'm crying. It's because of my spirit inside is just connected to this love that he pours on all of us, not just believers, but even unbelievers. He he loves us so much. And yeah, man, I just, I can't fathom, like I can't fathom God's love that he has for us. Um, and I just wanted to know him, not from my understanding, but from his understanding of who he says he is, because his thoughts are better than our thoughts. And I knew that that was the only way I could really find God um, by just not being trapped by any other belief, but just allow him to direct me. So I was in no way influenced by my friends. My friends were very much surprised when I converted to um, Christianity because they were Christians. They respected me as a Muslim before I converted and yeah it was random for everyone and i'm sure it's random for some of you that i was even a muslim before because i don't think many people even knew that about me like god is real and i'm just so blessed and thankful that i found christ like he's so evident in my life that you know i can't ignore it and i couldn't ignore it